What's up, fellas? Mobay A76 RC signing back on, and I'm in the lab today with the team associated DR10. And this rig right here will be getting a highly needed upgrade to keep this thing more stable while going down the street. Uh, with that being said, a lot of you guys know already with drag racing and racing in general, aerodynamics does play a big part. And one thing that this thing is lacking is a uh, better airflow going underneath the car. As you guys know, this is nothing but a short course truck chassis with some modified arms and suspension. So the problem that I tend to have with my DR10, and I'm sure a lot of other guys can agree to it, uh, you have side nerf bars right here. So when you put that body on the car and it's going down the street, what tends to happen, you get a lot of airflow that's coming up from underneath, which making your car blow over. We're going to solve that problem today. Hopefully, we're going to solve that problem and curve it a lot by putting on these 3D air dams and replacing them with these side nerf bars right there. So what I'm going to be doing today, fellas, is installing these and let you guys follow me along with it. Let's get it. Fellas, you can never go wrong with some MIP tools. All right, let's go ahead and start this process real quick. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process and fast forward it real quick. All right, fellas, we got one side on, another side to go. Good to go, fellas. Got both 3D side air dams installed on the DR10. Definitely give it a better look to me, in my opinion. And these things are inverted, so it's definitely going to help with the airflow a lot. And that should help you from uh, flipping over so easy. Comment, share, like, and subscribe. Hopefully this video was helpful for somebody that might be doing the hobby. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.